Hello. Hi. Are you gonna show your decor, or are we gonna see you, honey? I'm married, but I'm looking for a second boyfriend, so I can't show my face. But they can go to your page and see your face. Oh. So you're gonna be that bold to come on the internet and say you're looking for a boyfriend, but don't want to show your face, Gala? Yeah. Wow. Wow, or Zasatea. Okay, we gotta see something. We gotta see your hair. We gotta see something, Gala. Okay, he's here, so I can't show myself. Oh, he's here? So he doesn't hear you? What type of man you looking for? What type of boyfriend? I need a second one. Yeah, but what what does he need to be that your husband is not? Oh, one that's gonna um take me out, have fun. What type of fun? You know fun. I don't know what type of fun. That's what I'm asking. I just want to go out. So where we're going out? Going out can mean to like, oh, we're going to get a little chicken wing and a little fried rice from the Chinese store. We're going for a walk. We're going for ice cream. Uh, 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 going to the club, drink, enjoy ourselves. Oh, so it says you're looking for somebody to have that type of fun. Yeah. Naughty fun. Naughty fun, yeah. Oh, so husband is not fulfilling those needs, Gela. No. So have you guys spoken? Have you sat down with your husband and said, hey, babe, it's not working out. I don't feel sexually fulfilled. Uh, uh, uh. He's good. I just want somebody else. Okay. I want a little side chick. Oh, you want a side chick. Okay. So you haven't gone out into the world to look for your side chick? Why is it not easy? Gela, you seem like a beautiful woman. I can tell by your voice. When we go to work and I come home. Well, then that means you go to work, then go out. How about that, Gela? I just want to be the little sneaky wife. I'm a wife. Oh, a sneaky wife. Yes. I want to be that now I, now, I can't promote that message. I can't promote sneaky wife, side wife. The way you whispered it, it sounded, I don't know. Okay. It sounded like I, I don't want to be involved the way you whispered that. Mm -mm. I I mean, like going out, I go to work, I sneak, and I go out, and I come home. Oh, okay. <laughs> you going out, you sneak. Wow. So is husband with other woman? Does he have side chick? Oh, he got side chick? Oh, he's good. He's good. What do you mean he's good? He don't got side chick. No, he's a good man. A good man. You gonna cheat on a good man. Y'all hear this here, ladies? Hey. You still not giving me a reason. I give you a lot of reason. So I, you, you keep telling me your husband's a good man. He's the perfect man, but you want a side piece. I will pay the bills. I just want to, I just want fun. Oh, you will pay the man's bill? Yes. Oh. I will pick him up, I will pay the bills, and I will treat him. All I want is fun. So I'm assuming she wants a young man. How old are you, Jella? Oh, I don't want a young man. I don't like them young. How old are you? I want an old man. I can tell you're older by that decor. I can tell you're older by the decor alone and that leather couch in the back. Uh-huh. How old he got to be? Uh, 15. 50. So you want a side piece that's 50? That don't make no sense. No, they're good. You go younger. No, you go younger. You don't go no. older for side piece as a woman. That Listen. wouldn't even make sense. If they're younger, they're going to want uh, cars. They're going to want Gucci. They're going to want Louis Vuitton. They're going to want all of those stuff. And I don't want to do that. But a 50 year old man, from what you're telling me, Jella, is that you want some type of excitement. A 50 year old man don't want to be in a club dancing and then doing hanky panky until five in the morning. He ain't got that type of energy in him. I don't care how much he work out. He don't got that type of energy in him. They do. I'm telling you. I have a friend. I have a friend that I tell you, I'm telling you, they do. It sounds like you already know. You already have the experience and you already got a little side piece. Yes. All right. Well, you know what? I don't want to be involved, but um, if there are, we have a lot of young men and men on this live. I'm sure they will be in your DMs. Where are you located, Jella? Where are you located? I'm in the Bronx, New York. 
Oh, you in the Bronx, honey. You could go right out to the bodega and find one, okay? Oh, Who's oh, hanging on to the bodega door and smoking a cigarette, talking about, oh, hey, ma, you can find that easily. Oh, you don't got to be on the internet. No, 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 no. Those men at the bodega, they only buy and have sandwich in the bags. No, no, no. And, and guess what? They got a lot of time to get the hanky-panky down pack, okay? <laughs> they got nothing but what's between their legs. That's why they stay right out there doing the bodega. It's not all the men. I'm just talking about some of them. If you are from New York, they have, listen, they have perfected their craft. They, they, okay? They, they smoke a lot. And mm -hmm. they only carry brown bags. I don't want those men. All right, Jella. Well, thank you for coming up. We appreciate it. Listen, I want married people to stay married and stay together. But I wish you all the best, Jella, okay? Lord, I was just going with Jella to go with Jella. I was going with Jella to go with Jella. Just for, you know, for a little entertainment for you guys. I do not promote and talk about that with your spouse and have the conversation like, hey, babe, let's have an open marriage. By the time you, when you're with someone for 15 or 20 years, I'm sure they'll be open to it. Y'all want to stay together forever. I'm not saying everyone is open and should do this, but just have that conversation. Mm -hmm. And she's saying she's looking for something. The men in the Bronx that stand near the bodega, they have per perfected their craft, honey. They got the hanky pinky down pack. What is the stereotype about some men who don't have money, who are broke, who all they got is their looks and their body? They usually have good what, ladies? I know it's a stereotype, but usually the men who don't got much going on, usually the men who would be considered quote unquote broke, usually all they would really have is their D. That's how they keep women hypnotized or matized. Let's be real chat. Let's and the reason I say younger is because a 50 year old man, usually they say woman, your sex drive goes up as you get older and a man, it decreases. Even if they work out, drink green juice, do all of the things, child. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. And she's ready to pay. It. Let's move along, y'all. Did you did you want to just give a, a quote to the ladies? Maybe some w dating advice. One one dating tip for the ladies. Okay, I want to say I want to say, don't judge a book by its cover. Like most girls, be like, I can see through. You don't know anything about me. Like I have a successful business. I do very well for myself. But I don't know. I, I want to speak on black women. Like you got to take it lightly. Like even in business, I can't judge a client and see their bank account by seeing them from the first look. You know, if I do that, I want to be able to handle business. So you look at a guy, you call him Dusty. You don't know where he lives. You don't know anything about him. He could be he could be clearing the snow in the front of the building, but be the owner. So that's just all I want to say. But Emmanuel, hold on, Emmanuel, in all fairness, I think men judge as well, rightfully so, right? If you see a woman who's dressed scantily clad versus Although the woman may be dressed scantily clad for the night, maybe she's going out for a birthday or something like that, you're going to have your judgments thinking, oh, she may be a fast girl or an easy girl or a quote unquote promiscuous girl. So I think in the same vein, you know, women do the same. They judge off of first impressions. Is that fair to say? That's, that's, that's definitely fair to say, but it's also about the inside. So go outside in the world and just be nice to people, regardless, even if it's, he's a dusty. You can say hi to a Dusty, right? And find out. You don't know what you might find out. Like, uh, even like you said, I might be judgmental and see a girl and be like, oh, I think she's a night girl or whatever. But like, I still want her to just show me her inside and be like, oh, hey, be a nice person. And I figure out who you are from what you what comes out from your mouth. Like not what's on your body or what's what clothes we wear or the jewelry or the watch. Like my money is in my bank account. You don't know what is in there. Like, you know, I'm not gonna come and be like, I'm a millionaire or, I'm, I'm gonna have a conversation with you first and you just be like, oh, he's a dusty. Cool.
also let me also say this too, just to clear it up. I think you know, just being around millionaires and things like that. When I say millionaires, I don't mean just men, right? We could say men or women for that matter. I do. I will say most of them. I'm not gonna say all. If we're saying multi millions, they're more put together. It doesn't mean they have designer on or logos or a bunch of jewelry, but I think they do put themselves together. I would say that you know they have a clean shirt on. on a pair of pants that are tailored, some clean shoes. But it doesn't mean that they necessarily have like a designer bag or they're super gaudy about the things that they wear. Can we also say that? Yeah, that's, that's definitely true. Obviously, you don't, you don't want to be with a guy that looks homeless. Obviously, yeah, but you know, but don't be so judgmental. Like someone like me, I'm only in the gym, work, house, right? I don't even go to the club. So you're not going to find a guy like me in the club or find a wealthy guy in the club for that matter. So you want to be careful about how you treat people just in general, because the guy that you might call a dusty might introduce you to the millionaire in that sense. Like, you know, it's all about networking or just being a overall blessing to the world in a sense, you know? So you're basically just telling women to keep your mind open because you just never know who this man could be is what you're saying. Gotcha. All right, Emmanuel, well, thank you for coming up. Thank you for having me. Welcome everyone, even if we don't agree with everything, we, we don't, but we can have healthy conversations where we're not combative, we're not yelling at each other, we're not cursing at each other. We're just having conversations. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you, thank you, thank you.